The Enyaq 4 VIS may herald the arrival of a new breed of fast Skoda, but it lacks enough personality, as it stands. It's simply too big, heavy and quiet to truly engage and without that, you're left with a slightly faster version of the new Enyaq Coupe, with a long list of standard features, but a price to match. The VIS may be the fastest and most expensive Enyaq. Skoda has been toying with the idea of applying its VIS performance principles to the new world of all-electric vehicles for some time. Customers who can afford a £40,000 electric vehicle are in fact more likely to have the extra cash to splash on a faster version of the same vehicle. So here it is, the Enyaq Coupe 4 VIS, with a whiff of inevitability. The new, sportier body style of Skoda's Enyaq SUV was chosen to introduce all-electric VIS motoring, identical in profile up to the B-pillar, but with a swoopy rear roofline that tapers noticeably down towards the tailgate. Although rear headroom is reduced, Skoda claims that there is still as much space for taller rear passengers, as in an Octavio estate. If you prefer a more traditional SUV shape, the regular Enyaq will almost certainly get its own VIS variant by early 2023. There's also a Sportline version of the regular redrive Enyaq Coupe 480 if you want sportier looks. The VW Group's MEB platform sits beneath it all, and the Enyaq Coupe 4 VIS shares a lot of similarities with VW's own ID4 GTX. Each axle has two electric motors each with a combined output of 295 brake horsepower and 460 newton meters. This is enough to propel this 2.2-ton creation from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, but the initial acceleration from 0 to 30 miles per hour is likely to be on par with many sports cars. The top speed is 111 miles per hour, which is 12 miles per hour faster than any other Enyaq and the suspension is lowered all around. The newcomer has a single battery capacity of 82 kilowatt hours of which 77 kilowatt hours is usable, which is enough to give it a range of up to 309 miles. It comes with 135 kilowatts charging as standard, allowing you to charge the battery from 10% to 80% capacity in 36 minutes. The first fully electric VIS is also the priciest Skoda ever. It starts at £51,885 more than the fully loaded Founders Edition of the regular Enyaq. In reality, the Enyaq is priced between the regular GTX and the more well-equipped GTX Maximum. Standard equipment should be generous at these numbers, and it appears to be. Standard features include 20-inch alloy wheels, Skoda's illuminated front grille, acoustic glass, matrix led headlights and a 13 inch infotainment system as well as a full-length panoramic glass roof inside there's enough space for four adults and the 570 liter boot is typical skoda practicality however the difference between the vis and the rest of the lineup isn't as large as you might think the regular enyaq has stitched suede on the top of the fascia some carbon fiber effect trim here and there and more supportive seats, but the sportier Enyaq is so well finished that it struggles to stand out. Even the glass roof doesn't do much to change the atmosphere, it's so darkly tinted that it fails to properly illuminate the cabin. On the road, performance is brisk rather than rapid, as has been the case with many VIS models over the years. When you press the throttle from a stop, the electric motor's instant torque will pin you back in your seat, as the Enyaq accelerates from 0 to 30 miles per hour. There's also a disconnect between the Enyaq's ability to accelerate and the absence of an engine note. Aside from the cheap thrill of the first few seconds, there's nothing remotely engaging about hard acceleration. Because it's a VIS, it has to stand out on quieter, more challenging roads. The Enyaq Coupe falls short in this area. Although it is resistant to body roll, it still requires patience, especially on low-quality roads. The firmed-up dampers in the DCC's sport mode have nearly comical rebound rates, so the car picks up any changes in camber in the surface beneath it and throws the occupants around.
Thanks for watching and give your comments below.